Hello, dear students, and welcome to our online discussion club. My name is Neil Bakiev, and I'm your English teacher from New Zealand. Our discussion topic is hobbies and interests, and you have several options to learn how to talk about this topic extensively. All right. So the first option is to use our speaking correction service which costs 20 American dollars. What you need to do is to record your answers to the discussion questions in an MP3 file. To use the service, visit the online discussion club course on my website, which is ielstoefl.com, to find the speaking correction service option. Upload your MP3 file there for detailed corrections and feedback. The second possible option is to have an individual online class, which costs $30. What you need to do is to book a private online class with me. In this session, we will discuss your answers and I will provide personalized feedback. Please contact me on Telegram to register for individual classes. All right. And the last option is to participate in our online discussion club, which costs $10 per person. What you need to do is just to join a group discussion with up to eight students. Each participant will share the answers and you will receive feedback from both me and other students. Each session lasts for 60 minutes. Contact me on Telegram as well to register for the club. And today's topic is hobbies and interests. Let's analyze some questions and answers together. Here's our first question. What do you do to unwind in your spare time? Okay, so to unwind means to relax and reduce stress after being busy or tense, all right? Which basically means just to relax, to chill out a little bit, to calm down and recover your energy levels. And spare time means free time. I like to kick back and play the guitar. The expression to kick back means to relax and take it easy. It's my way of unwinding and letting off steam after a long day. Okay, as I said, unwind means to relax and let off steam basically means to release, build up stress or anger. So, for example, you've been working all day and now you are feeling exhausted. So, you want to watch a great movie to let off steam, meaning that you will relax. You won't feel any tension anymore. Okay, here's our next question. Why do you think it's important to have hobbies outside of work or school? Hobbies are a breath of fresh air. They keep me sane and give me a chance to recharge my batteries. So if when you say that hobbies are a breath of fresh air, that basically means something new and refreshing that brings joy and relief. It's like a pleasant change that makes you feel good. So for example, you really like playing football. So when you play football, you get excited, you are happy, you are full of beans. It's a breath of fresh air. It's something new that makes you happy. Okay, next, to keep me sane here means help me stay calm and mentally healthy, especially when things are stressful. Okay, um, next, to recharge my batteries, that basically means to rest and regain energy. So, for example, you can sleep for two or three hours after working extremely hard because you want to recharge your batteries. Okay, next question. Have you ever picked up a new hobby on a whim? The phrase pick up a new hobby means to start doing or learning something new like a hobby, something that you've never done before and you've decided to do it now. And the phrase on a whim means to do something suddenly and without planning, 
just because you feel like it at the moment, all right? All of a sudden, you decide to go rock climbing, and then you start doing it on a regular basis because you enjoy it, all right? So on a whim. Okay, absolutely. I recently started learning salsa dancing. It's been a blast, even though it's taken some getting used to. When you say that something is a blast, that means something is very fun and enjoyable and you love doing it a lot. And here, it's taken some getting used to, that basically means something requires time and practice to become comfortable or familiar with something new. So for example, if you've never been involved in rock climbing and then you start doing it, it might be difficult for you for the first two or three weeks, right? Why? Because it's taking some getting used to. But later, when you feel absolutely confident, you can say to your friends, oh, you know, I love rock climbing because it's fun, it's a blast. It's taking some getting used to, but now I can do it perfectly well. Okay, next question. Do you lean towards hobbies that challenge you or ones that help you relax? The phrase lean towards means to prefer or be more interested in something. Okay, so for example, do you lean towards playing football or basketball? Which means what do you prefer? Okay, next. I like a mixture of both. The expression a mixture of both means enjoying and choosing a combination of two different things. You like both of these aspects, not just only one. So it's a mixture of both. Next, crossword puzzles challenge my brain while yoga helps me chill out and find my zen. Here, challenge my brain means make me feel make me think hard and use my mental skills. It's hard, it's difficult, but it's interesting because the more puzzles you work out, the more intelligent you get, right? The more critical thinking skills you can use in different situations, all right? So puzzles challenge your brain. Okay, and here, chill out, basically that means to relax, okay, and then find my zen, it means achieve a state of calm and peace, okay, you, you're not worried about anything anymore, you can control the whole situation, everything is good. All right, next question, what's the craziest hobby you've ever tried? Skydiving was hands down the craziest thing I've ever done. It was a rush of adrenaline unlike anything else. The phrase hands down means without a doubt or just definitely 100%, right? So hands down. Next, a rush of adrenaline means a sudden strong feeling of excitement and energy that comes from doing something thrilling or risky. Okay, why? Because you are afraid to die, but you get a lot of joy doing it. So you get a lot of rush of adrenaline. All right, next question. Do you believe hobbies can teach us important life skills? Okay, life skills. Life skills means useful abilities or knowledge that help you in everyday life, like problem solving, time management, or teamwork. So all of these skills are called life skills. All right. Absolutely. Playing team sports taught me how to collaborate and communicate effectively, a skill that's come in handy in my career. The expression come in handy means be useful or helpful. So for example, um, you know, my computer always comes in handy when it comes to uh, processing some data, okay, or using social media. So, which means it's very useful and you love using it a lot. Next, what's your take on finding time for hobbies in a busy schedule? The phrase, what's your take on, means what do you think about? What's your opinion about? All right, so what's your take on? 
Next, balancing hobbies with a busy schedule is like fitting pieces into a puzzle. Here, the phrase fitting pieces into a puzzle means arranging pieces so that they can fit together perfectly to complete the picture. It suggests a careful and thoughtful process. Okay. All right. Next, I prioritize time each week for activities like painting or hiking, which recharge my batteries and keep me motivated. Next question. If you could dive into any hobby right now, what would it be and why? The phrase dive into any hobby means start or get deeply involved in something. So you just do it all the time. You're passionate about something and you keep doing it on a regular basis. All right. I've always wanted to learn to surf. Riding the waves and feeling the ocean's energy would be an exciting adventure. Okay, pay attention to this grammar structure. Would be an exciting adventure, not will, because you are talking about a hypothetical situation, right? If you had this chance, you would do it, but you don't have this chance now. Okay, next question. If you could invent a completely new hobby, what would it be and why? I'd love to invent a hobby where people paint rocks and hide them in parks for others to find. It would bring joy to both the painters and the lucky finders, creating a fun treasure hunt that connects people through art and exploration. All right, next question. How do you think technology has influenced the hobbies people enjoy today? Technology has made hobbies more accessible and exciting. The phrase more accessible means that something has become easier to reach, start or participate in. Next. Now you can learn new crafts from YouTube, connect with fellow enthusiasts on social media, and even use apps to track your progress. The phrase learn new crafts means that you discover and acquire new skills or hobbies related to making things by hand. Enthusiasts. These are the people who enjoy doing the same hobby as you do. All right. Okay. Next, it's made hobbies more social and easier to dive into no matter where you are. The phrase no matter where you are means regardless of your location or situation. You might be in America, you might be in England or Australia, right? Regardless of your location, no matter where you are. All right, guys. Hopefully, you have learned a lot from this lesson and you'll be able to use all of these phrases and, and, and idiomatic expressions when communicating with native English speakers. See you next time.